Hi there, it's Simone. Today I'm back with another journal with me video. It is, um, yeah, I didn't think I would be back so quickly with another one, but my life has changed so drastically that I haven't really been able to journal. Able in the in the sense of I just I I was so shocked by all the events that have happened in the past ten days that I did not. I just couldn't couldn't sit down and journal. But yesterday something had changed a little and I was actually able to sit down and I had fun to journal. And um um yeah, last week was this is not this current week but the week before and it was so strange writing everything down and and realizing that on Monday everything seemed fine and on Sunday it felt like the world was ending. So yeah, that's what I wrote down and that's what I journaled about. I The first thing I did was just write in the big headlines that I determined for my days each day of the week and then I let, let it dry, went went away for a little bit and then I turned my camera back on and um, looked through my sticker book and added in some stickers that I um, yeah, wanted to add. So the week before I was training to be a shift supervisor and that Monday was my first shift as one by myself and I was so exhausted and I was exhausted from working every day that last week because it's just different when you're being told what to do <laughs> instead of having someone being the person who tells everybody else what to do and making sure that all the tasks that you're responsible for actually get done. And I definitely know that this will change and I will get used to the responsibilities that I now have but but it was just it was such an exhausting uh, week plus on top of the all of this on Monday I never thought that we were going to be staying at home for the next for the unforeseeable future by the end of the week it was yeah on Monday, Corona was far away, was this thing that didn't didn't pertain to me, that wasn't in my community. And then suddenly Wednesday, we were able to kind of feel the the changes. It was it was uneasy. You were like, do I have to go out and meet this friend? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not affected. And on Thursday, um, Schools started closing down and on Friday all of the schools in my county were shut down and then yeah and that's how it how it progressed from there on out and then suddenly we realized or I realized that that this was real and it was a real danger. Um, Saturday was another high point for me when, well, actually it was Friday night, we needed milk. And so we went to Costco, which is on our way home. And there was no milk. There was no meat. There was no milk. There was no bread. Nothing was there. And I started freaking out because I was under the impression that I do not need to go out and buy all the things. I could just go every week, even if there was some kind of shelter in place situation, as it is now, um, I would still be able to go grocery shopping. I didn't want to take the food that other people need or the toilet paper that other other people need. Uh, but that Friday, I was freaking out. So Saturday, we went early in the morning and I was able to see with my own eyes that everything was still there. At least at Costco, Trader Joe's and Whole Foods were in a whole nother story. They still don't have rice and new pasta and other basic food like uh, flour and stuff like that. But Costco does have that and 
since we have a Costco membership, I can go there. I have to buy food for more than my family, but well, then I'm not, just not going as often, which is good, right? We are supposed to stay home for a little while. Yeah, and then Sunday, our gym closed down, which makes total sense. But again, it's something that if you do not realize that they need to do this in order for the virus not to spread, you think, well, yeah, I am going to my gym. And then when they tell you that, no, we are going to close, you're like, oh, well, yeah, it's true. You can be the you can carry the virus without any symptoms and then everybody else gets it too. And looking at the the numbers and how fast they rise, I think it's the right idea. It's still hard to, to cope and to grapple what is actually happening in the world. I wrote about that in the top of the journaling and then on the bottom, I just copied down the things at my Thursday three. Every week I participate in the Thursday three, which is I post a selfie on Instagram and then three facts about me right now. And I was actually able to write, to not write about Corona then, because I mean, right now Corona is affecting everybody else's life. And then I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave the page like that, if I wanted to add some more washi at the bottom. I looked in the, on the other pages, but I decided that um, I'm just gonna leave it like that and call it done because it just didn't look right adding anything else. And sometimes you need to be brave and just stick with how you think it should look. And that was it. And so now I'm still flipping and looking if I'm if I can find something to stick there. But in the end, I will decide that this is it. And this is what the page looks like that it's finished now. I really like that it's different than my usual design. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon and I hope you are still healthy and stay safe and do not go insane by staying at home. Hope you find lots of crafty projects that keep you alive and happy. And I, yeah, I still have a week to journal, so I guess I'll film along and share that with you as soon as I can. See you soon. Bye.